Well, some of it is also just a company stepping up and just doing it. Screw the authority and showing that it's possible and then the authority follows. So that's why I really love innovators in the space. The The criticism I have, the very sort of real, I don't know, harsh criticism I have towards uh, autonomous vehicle companies in the space is they've gotten culturally, they've, it's been, it's become acceptable somehow to do demos and videos as opposed to the old school American way of solving problems. There's, there's a culture in Silicon Valley where you're talking to VCs that have lost that kind of love of um, solving problems. They, they kind of like envision, if the story you told me in your PowerPoint presentation is true, how many trillions of dollars might I be able to make? There's something lost in that conversation where you're not really taking on like the problem in a real way. So these autonomous vehicle companies realize we don't need to, we just need to make r nice PowerPoint presentations and not actually deliver products that like everybody looks outside and says, holy shit, this is, this is life-changing. This is where I have to give props to Waymo is they put driverless cars on the road and like, forget PowerPoint slide presentations, actual cars on the road. Then you can criticize like, is that actually going to work? Who knows, but the thing is they have cars on the road. And that's why I have to give props to Tesla. They have whatever you wanna say about uh, risk and all those kinds of things. They have cars on the road that have some level of automation. And soon they have uh, trucks on the road as well. And that kind of, that component, I think is important part of the policy conversation because you get you start getting data of these from these companies that are willing to take the big risks as opposed to making slide decks they're actually putting cars on the road and like real lives are at stake. They could be lost and they could bankrupt the company if they make the wrong decisions. And that that's deeply admirable to me.